scrape tens of thousands to endless leads using chat GPT tactics good in 2024 and 2025 that no one on this platform or anywhere else has shown you before. First things first, we run up on our Google advanced search operators. So let's target some leads in the private jet charter business. So we will copy this search phrase private jet company north carolina if you choose to target people in north carolina plus mail to now you've never seen this before potentially some of you programmers or people who know how to code in html may already know about this but mail to is a uniform resource identifier that allows web visitors to click on an email address and have the browser automatically load up their default email client so they can start writing their email message to the targeted recipient as promptly as possible. What that does, it allows us to start to yank email addresses that use proprietary domains. So this is beautiful because for instance, let's say we are yanking the following result, charter at baker-aviation.com. These emails are a lot better than using at Gmail or at Yahoo or other email providers in the mainstream because perhaps a professional or professionals may ignore these at Gmails, at Yahoo's, at AOL's, and potentially reserve them from family members that constantly share through chains, inspirational quotes, and Bible quotes that they should be reading. Nonetheless, they perhaps don't want to make time for. So if you contact them at their work email, then you potentially increase the chance that they'll get back to you and close you, or rather you close them and have them use your services and thus have you get paid. So we see, for instance, chris.hollingsworth at jetcraft.com. So what happens is mail two is typically included in the source code, but some people erroneously, or perhaps they perform a website update that does not include this URI in the source code and keeps it right on the visible page on the output. So you have Chris Hollingsworth, jetcraft.com, at nasa.gov, that'd be a nice client, rutherfordcountync.gov. And what you do is you simply hit Control A or Command A on a Mac, Control A on a PC. And what you will do first is load up ChatGPT, right? Chat.open ai.com, chatgpt.com rather, format a table right here. These are the instructions. You want to add that first, or you could probably put it at the footer. It doesn't matter at this juncture. Again, we overwrote what was on the clipboard. So we'll hit control A or command A on the Mac and simply paste it into the chat GPT input field. And there it goes. Here's a formatted table of the contact information based on the provided details. So I instructed ChatGPT to create a formatted table with the contact details in each of the data points respective columns. So Baker Aviation, we have the name of the recipient of the emails and we have all these proprietary domains right here under the email column and then the phone numbers right here. And you can do this for any industry. First off, New York City perhaps, if that's what you wanna target or perhaps you're close to New York City and you get Zephyr Jets, you get the CFO, that's pretty good. She may be the person that will sign the check in your organization's name, right? Do the same thing, bang. This is for New York right here, same thing. And at this juncture, ChatGPT may already know what to do because it keeps that information inside its database. So bang, just put format and it'll do the same thing. Yep, see? Right there, you got two contacts at Zephyr Jets, Sunshine Jets, Blue Star Jets. You see that? Now, if you want to get at Gmail, at Yahoo, at AOL email addresses, then you can always use these operators right here. Just add these. What this does is instruct Google to return results that include at iCloud or at AOL. That bar right there, that on my computer, you can find 
on top of the enter key on most Windows boxes, you're able to find it there. Nonetheless, on a Mac, I forget right now, it escapes me. And again, just lead that string of operators with the industry that you're targeting. So perhaps cosmetic dentists, right? They charge enough. What, $18,000 or 20 grand for teeth, top and bottom? And let's say you're targeting Texas. Bomb. And you could just play with this as much as you want. And again, see, you get the Gmails, you get the Hotmails, you get the Hotmails right here, the typical. And you do the same thing. And you could just continue to cycle through this. And you are just collecting. Oh, at this point, Perhaps it may know that it has to continue to format. Let's see. Yep. You don't have to write format anymore. It just continues to format the data into a table that you can copy and paste into a Google Sheets file and then export it into high level. That's the software that I'm using to build out my AI agency. And I'll show you how to do that. Just get your free brain upgrade. sh zero dot AI slash agency, where I am issuing all types of resources, free trials for this stuff. So you're able to start your million dollar agency and you can do it. Absolutely. Because the features, if you've been watching my videos, you see they're selling themselves. Now, let's say if we want to find more ways to extract proprietary domains, right? You could also do something like this. Check this out in URL linkedin.com slash in so what this google advanced search operator does it limits the google search results to web pages that have https linkedin.com slash in so these are the letters that linkedin uses to compose the first parts of profile web addresses so you could just type in in quotes, email me or email us perhaps, right? Email me is a good one right here. Do email me and bang, you get proprietary domain email addresses. Well, let's not even go through the results. Let's just let Chat GPT perform the work on our behalf, right? So we have all these people right there. It's still yanking right here. Then you could do the same thing with these mainstream email addresses to which perhaps professionals may ignore, perhaps it'll give you a better result, but you have all the options available right here in URL right here, you see? At Gmail, at Gmail, and then you just cycle through the same process time and time and time again. Now you want more ways to automate exactly what you're doing, systematize your entire marketing process, so you're able to be as successful as possible selling and marketing your products and services, sh zero dot ai slash agency now let's go for another profession let's say we are targeting realtors so we can do the same thing we can go to realtor.com and you can do this for any website that loads email addresses of the people that list their organizations on the platform so right here you see you got at gmail right here at gmail they're mostly at gmail you got mail twos on realtor Vista SIR, again, control A, bang, format. Into a table just like above, right? Boom. Well, it knows what to do. It should at the very least, right? Agent property, Brian, agent. Okay, cool. Location, mail. All right, so we could have it adjust the column so perhaps i want phone numbers and if it's able to yank phone numbers we'll go ahead and do that so just click stop right here and then there's a little pencil right next to the input format into a table right and here i could use the enter key and not worry about submitting my input format into a table with corresponding columns for Name, email, phone number. Bang. And I forget that enter will not execute the function. Here it goes, right here. Okay, so that's more like it. 
And then again, we could load that into our automation application of choice. High level, absolutely. As I told you before, and bang, it just keeps on loading it up again. You can just play with this. And what I can do, if you request it, hit me up in the comment section below. Get at me. I'll give you a copy of some of these advanced operators and you can start playing with different variations. So I'll just show you Angie, show you one more, right? With Angie, you can do the same thing. It used to be Angie's list. And there are a number of people that list their services on Angie's list. And again, you could get their contact information so you could build their websites, so you could market their services, so you could build a chat bot on their platform or perhaps sell them voice AI. If you watch my previous video, you know what that does. It'll take a missed call and it'll take contact information of the person that calls and maybe book an appointment for that person practically be you and you could either eliminate the person that is performing that task at a rate that you can save at this juncture so angie.com and you could do email me you know the rest of it you know what it does right you could do email me or just email right and just see let me see email email won't do it just, just do email me and put it in quotes what quotes does it ensures that it'll find the phrase, that's more targeted. You get some Gmails, you get a Hotmail there. So you still get some emails. You got Verizon.net. So that's something that people aren't targeting here on this platform or anywhere else. Email me. And of course, you could also try the notorious URI mail to. And right here, bang, you got people using it. And then again, just control A and you're getting these proprietary domain email addresses. Watch the video you see on the screen right now so you could learn exactly what you need to do to launch your million dollar AI agency.